Okay, today I'm going to quickly go over rolling a character. This is what a character sheet looks like for Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I have made a double-sided copy here so that you can have, if you have different skills or spells, you can record all that there, as, long as, everything, uh, as well as everything else, uh, on, onto one sheet. And that's what I'll be providing people. So, this is the rule book that we're going to be using. We're just going to go through it step by step. Uh, so, he wants us to write down the names of the six player character abilities. We don't need to do that because we have a character sheet. This book assumes you do not. And then it actually gives you an example of just making one on lined paper, which is perfectly acceptable. It makes no difference at all. Uh, first, we're going to roll 3d6 for each ability. I put the result in pencil next to the name of the ability. Now, there is one concession I'm making here, which is if you want a particular class, you are allowed to take the minimum for that, for those abilities, even if you don't roll them. But you want to try to roll them first, because if you roll better, I'll let you keep those too. Uh, it's still a pretty brutal system, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter in the context of the kind of game we're playing. So we roll three six-sided dice. We add those values together, five, six, seven, eight. This character has eight strength. Uh-oh, he's not going to be a very good fighter. Eleven for intelligence. Oh, what's that? Da, da, da. You know what? Two ones in there? I would let you re-roll that, I think. Just to be not such a bastard about it, because that's pretty brutal. But we are going to stick with that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's why we do it all here together, because look, it doesn't take that long. And uh, I'll help you out a bit if we need. Now there's a good roll. Look at that. That is a 17. That's about as good as it gets. We have a 17 dexterity. It looks like we have a good thief. Now, you can choose beforehand what you want to play. That's perfectly acceptable, and I'll help you get to that. But this is a great way to roll characters because you're kind of making it up as you go. I encourage anybody that hasn't done that before to try it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see what your constitution is. 12, 14. So this is not looking actually that bad. And here we go. Wow, we got another 13 here for charisma. So this is the character that we ended up rolling on 3d6. Not too bad. Now, it says we need to read uh, the section on character abilities and character classes and choose a, a, a class which best suits us. So, let's see the prime requisites uh, and the classes that we might want to play. Let's see, characters. I think we're going to be going with a thief here, probably. And as you can see in these sections here, it gives us the prime requisites, so intelligence. If we wanted a magic user, we would need 13 intelligence. Uh, or, or rather, a magic user with 13 or greater would receive a bonus on their experience, so we definitely would want that. So the prime requisite of a uh, thief is dexterity. So uh, 13 or greater gains a bonus on earned experience points. And thieves level up really quickly. That's kind of the cool thing about them. They level up twice as fast as other um, classes. Now we have a D4. I do allow you to take max hit points, meaning you get four hit points to start plus the constitution bonus. So, what other steps do we would we have to take here? We would have to get our bonuses. So, for our 17 dexterity, we would get a plus 2 on to hit rolls. So, with um, ranged weapons, with bows, essentially. And a negative 2 bonus to AC. Negatives are good for AC, for armor class in this case. Um, our AC would start out much higher. We would start out, I believe, at 7 AC, or if you convert it um, to the other system, 
I would think that that would be 13 AC natural. And then an initiative adjustment, but we don't even worry about initiative. I'd just deal with that as the DM, so that's not even uh, part and parcel with what we're doing. Constitution is the other high one we got at a 14. So uh, where is that here? Here it is. At a 14 constitution, we get plus one hit points per die, um, or plus one points per hit die. So we would start you out at five health as well. Doesn't sound like a lot, and it isn't a lot, but it's a lot better than starting with one health, which is possible. In fact, it's possible to start out with no health, in which case you don't even roll that character, because that would be not very good. Um, Charisma here is, uh, was our other higher one. We get a plus one adjustment to reactions. Um, that helps or hinder first impressions when talking to an encountered creature or person. Because what we do as a DM is we roll based on your charisma uh, to see how things respond to you when they see you. Everything in D&D nowadays, and, and it is a perfectly valid way to play, and I have played this way, is controlled by the DM. Um, but in the older D&D, a lot of things were controlled by random chance. You'd set up an encounter, but you didn't really know how that encounter was going to go until you rolled the dice. So we didn't know how those goblins were going to react. We didn't know how these guys were going to react. I mean, we could have omit that, but it added a lot of flavor to the game because you just set up these encounters and you, you didn't know. It might turn out to be just, hey, we're passing by, no, no trouble here. Unless a character went out of their way to cause trouble. And so that's an interesting element of the game as well. Just to quickly go over. Um, after we've set our character abilities and those bonuses. We would write down our special abilities. In this case for the thief. Uh, we would turn it around here. And and type in the number for our uh, thief's skills. What our percentage chance is of climbing sheer surfaces. Removing traps, hearing noise, hiding shadows. Moving silently, picking locks, and picking pockets. A lot of those are quite low at first level for thieves, but climbing sheer surfaces. You can climb a sheer flat wall with an 87% chance of success. So that's that can be a pretty useful skill to sneak into different places or whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, and then, really, there's not a whole lot of other stuff that we would write down here. We put our um, alignment, our attack rolls, which this shows you at if an enemy is armor class 4, for example, AC4 under attack rolls, uh, we would need a 13 to hit them. And, and, and that's on this little chart here. So it's actually quite straightforward. You have the chart right in front of you. You don't need to refer to anything. You, I would just say, oh, you're this, uh, the enemy is this armor class. There are three. You'd look at your sheet and go, oh, okay, I need a 12 to hit them or whatever it is. And honestly, that's about it. You get your money, which I think is like 3d6 times 10 gold. Yeah, so 3d6 times 10 gold up here, GP. Um, we still call it GP on our sheets, even though in the in-game world it has its own name. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And then we have the cost of equipments and weapons. We can go into the equipment section somewhere near the back of the book here. And... Uh, Go ahead and purchase some basic equipment and arms so that you're not totally screwed, basically. And then there's encumbrance tables in this book. This book is all you need to get started. That's why we use this book, because it's a, it's a very thin volume. You don't need... Uh, there's not a lot of material here to sift through. I use this book as my reference. Quite a bit thicker. And then some of these books as well... For different material or different ideas that I might need because there's some good stuff in these too. But that's it. That's what character creation will feel like when you come over. When you play a game here. Um, it's really quick. And if you die, it's not a big deal. Because guess what? I'm going to have lots of character sheets. You're going to be able to roll up a, real, uh, a new character really quickly. And we'll get you back in the game.